Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coordinator Framework Beginner Tutorial and this is our part number 35. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about form helper in Coordinator. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Coordinator Framework Tutorial. In our previous video session guys, we had discussed about CAPTCHA helper where we have seen that how can we integrate and also discuss that in the next video we will make a form inside that form actually we will put our CAPTCHA and validate by taking the user input. So I thought that before that video why not actually we will study about the form helpers. By using this form helper we will make a form input elements. So what basically form helper in coordinator application. So move to next tab. So what form helper? The form helper file contains functions that assist in working with forms. It means that all the elements as we have discussed inside HTML input form elements like we have input hidden type like input type text, text area, password, input type file, drop down and many more elements we have. So all the elements actually we can implement in our application by using functions also. So those functions basically provided by coordinator application using a helper and that helper basically called as a form helper in application. So how can we use the form helper in our application? So before use first of all we have to load that and this is the syntax by using this syntax we can load a form helper. So if I back to our code editor go to controllers file and let's say that we are going to use something called form helper. Now this is the declaration. If we want to declare as a separate, we can do something like as we have here. So I am declared inside that array because we are going to load our multiple helpers inside single line. Now after loading this form helper, now we can access all these functions what we have seen inside the available section of this form helper like form open, form open multipart, form hidden and so on up to form submit and several functions are also there which actually I had not listed inside this list. So back to code editor and let's say that we are going to make a method inside this controller. So let's say public function and let's say that my form inside this method we are going to call the view so let's say this load view and inside this view function I am going to call a view file so let's say my form if I save this controller copy the name back to our views folder and let's make a file something called my form dot php now inside this my form dot php we are going to use all the functions to make our input elements. So first of all if I make a HTML form so something form this is the form opening and this is the closing tag. Now inside this form we have several attributes to pass so something first is called action inside that we have to pass the URL. Next we have something called method inside we have to pass about the method type something called post get. Inside next we have something called class also we have something called ID this is ID inside that also we have something called ink type and this is multipart form data to upload our files using this form now we are going to convert these HTML tags by using our helper functions so how can we convert that so firstly let's say that we are going to use our form open method so let's say inside PHP tag is echo and the first function we have to open our form like here what we have done so inside form open we have to pass as a first parameter as the action value so inside this action what we have to write inside echo let's say site URL and inside this site URL what basically route we have divided so let's say that we are going to submit this form by using this route so simply copy this route name and we have to paste inside this site URL function. So if I just comment this line, save here, go to routes.php and let's make a route for that. So let's route and let's say my form. It will call the method inside our learn helpers controller and inside that controller we have a method something called my underscore form. So copy the method name pasting it here. So save this file. 
so if I copy this route name back to browser and let's say that index.php and this is our route name so if I inspect that if I open this body and now inside this body tag as we can see that inside this form tag this is the action which generated by using the site URL and inside this site URL we have passed the route name something called submit hyphen form hyphen data so in the same way we are going to generate by using this function so if I uncomment that save here and if I copy this route name pasting it here and also we want to close this form tag the form tag is, has opened here now again let's say php tag and here we have to use something called form underscore close function so if I save this file back to our browser reload this page now we have two forms this is the HTML form tag and this is the form tag generated by our helper function by using helper function automatically the parameters or the attributes have been attached with this form tag something called method except carset so if we want to add more parameters like class id ink types so how can we add inside this form tag so back to code editor let's say that we have multiple options to add this so let's say inside single quote we are going to pass about the class name so let's say my class if we want to pass something id so let's say my id and also if we want to pass about the ink type so ink type inside that let's say multipart form data so if I save this file go here reload this page now as we can see that all the parameters has been attached with this form tag and also if we want to change about the method so back to code editor let's say that method something we want to set as a get method so save this file again reload and the method has been changed from post to get method so this is dynamically generated attributes by using by using our helper function but this is only our HTML tag so the first function we have seen about the form open and the form close function what basically form open multipart function will do so if I copy the function name back to editor now inside this function call as we can see that if you want to upload any file from this form we have attached attribute something called ink type multipart form data if you don't want to hard code this attribute so if we want to get rid of all these things just change the function name from form open to form open multipart it automatically attach the ink type attribute inside this form declaration so save this file back to browser reload this page now as we can see that the attribute has been attached by the form tag automatically again if I just get rid of that save this file reload this page attribute has lost just roll back all these things save this file again reload we get back again about the ink type attribute now it's time to discuss about the form elements so back to slide the form element something called input type hidden so inside this form tag as we know that here we have input type and something hidden inside that we have several attributes something called name let's say txt let's say first hidden and also we can supply the value so let's online web tutor also we can supply the class and also we can pass about the ID so these are the attributes we have attached with the input type hidden field so how can we generate this field using our form helper function so back here so inside this PHP tag I'm going to declare about the input type hidden so let's echo something called form and the function we have to use called form hidden so form underscore let's say hidden inside the first attribute we have to pass about the name attribute so if I copy the name value just copy that pasting it here now all we have done about the name attribute in the second parameter we can pass about the value of this input type hidden so just copy this online web tutor so if I copy this value go here passing it here save this file again back to browser reload this page now inside this form tag 
this is the input type hidden as we have hard coded but inside this form tag this is the dynamic generated input type hidden element by using this function called form underscore hidden now inside that this is the name attribute and this is the value so far we had actually added inside this input type hidden field now next we are going to generate about the form input elements so if i back to code editor sorry slide now to generate our input type text box this is the function that we have to use called form underscore input so if i back to code editor now let's say that echo something the function we have to use called form input now inside this form input the parameters we have to pass as the first parameter something called first input this is known as the name attribute in the second parameter we can pass the value so let's online web tutor so if i save this file go here reload this page now the first element we have generated something called input type text this is the name attribute and this is the value and successfully we have rendered into our web page also so back to code editor let's say that we want to attach about the class id and many more attributes with this form input type so how can we attach that so if i make a separate array so let's say that this is input attributes array and something we have inside this array elements let's say that we are going to supply first about the name parameter so name inside this name let's say that first underscore input in the second if you pass about the value let's say that this is the value online web tutor also we can mention about the class let's say that input hyphen class also we want to attach about the id so let's say that input hyphen id only what we have to do just copy this variable array and get rid of all these things so if i copy this line paste here commit that and if i copy this input attributes array and pasting right here so save this file back to browser reload this page now as we can see that the multiple attributes we had attached with input type text box also we can change about the input type also so back to code editor now let's say that we are going to generate about the type and this type should be called let's say hidden so if i save this file go here reload this page now instead of input type text box we had generated about input type hidden with these attributes now if i just change something to password let's say password save this file back here reload this page now we have generated about input type password also so back to code editor now only we need to change about the type to generate about the input type hidden element input type text also input type password field but form helper also provides a function and that function basically known as form underscore password this is only to generate our password field if we go to code editor to generate our password field we had to use about form underscore input inside that function we actually passed about the type equal to password but if i let's say form password save this file just comment this line go here reload this page now as we can see that form type equal to password now what we have the next inside our input type elements so we have next about form upload so back to editor so just i'm going to make a function again so let's say echo form underscore upload inside the first parameter we have to pass our name attributes so let's say txt underscore file upload so if i save this file back to browser reload this page now as we have one more type element something called input type file in the same way we can attach about the class id and many more parameters with this input type field what we have done inside this form input so again if i make an array so let's say file edtr inside that array i'm going to make a class something called class and this is let's say file hyphen class 
again if I attach with this ID let's say that its file hyphen ID and also the name attribute something we have name and let's say that this is txt underscore file underscore upload save this file go here copy this file attribute and if I get rid of these things pasting it here save this file go to browser reload this page now as we have all the attributes what we had mentioned inside that array so basically guys so far we had developed about called form declaration form closing about hidden elements about password about input field also we had seen about called file upload next we are going to see something what we have called text area so inside that let's echo form underscore text area now inside this function remember always the first parameter is the name attribute so let's see our first text area and inside the second parameter we can pass our value so we can pass our value so if I save this file go here reload this page now this is the text area what we have declared by using the function something called form underscore text area so by default form text area has added attribute something called calls and the rows has default value called 40 and the tan you can also customize these values by going to editor and bypassing all these attributes what we have seen right here now in the inside the our listing fields next we have called form underscore drop down so let's say that echo form underscore drop down so in the inside the first parameter we have called dd and this is called select this is the name attribute so if I save this file go here reload this page so for now I am just going to come in this text area reload this page now we have drop down now remember inside this drop down we have not mentioned any values so far so we are going to add some values or some of the options parameter inside this select tag so back to code editor and let's say that here I'm going to make an options array and inside that array let's say that plugin and here we have called value something called plugin tutorial inside next let's say framework and let's say code igniter tutorial inside next let's say view js view hyphen js and it leads to something called view js now if I pass this options array as the second parameter save this file back to browser reload this page now as we can have a drop down of all these values what we have passed and all these values rendered as option elements inside this select tag so inside this video session guys we had discussed all the functions provided by our form helper and basically by using this form helper functions we can ma make a form by using our input elements called text area like input type text password drop down input type file and so on we can develop a fully customized form by using this available functions so inside this video guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day